Well, officers of the uniformed branches assembled at the police headquarters today for a focus on health. Sabrina Brown has that story. Their first call of duty is to serve and protect. But today, law enforcement officers on Grand Bahama took time out to focus on their health. The one-day seminar coordinated by the Police Staff Association was designed to help officers lead healthier lives. Deputy Chairman Corey Damianos. What we're trying to do is educate our officers, make them more conscious about being healthy, eating healthy, exercising, and living life the proper way. And so, therefore, we, we communicated with Mr. Jamal Monka, a herbalist and author, who's going to be presenting to us different products that can help you to live better because the healthy way is the right way. Damianos believes a healthy workforce is a more productive workforce and while officers are charged with maintaining law and order he says their health and well-being is paramount. We're out there combating so many elements and it calls for a lot of physicality and in order for you to be physical you, you have to be healthy and so you need the proper immune system, you need a proper heart, you need a proper mind and so you, you have to feed these things in order for them to keep on producing the chemicals to go forward. Herbalist Jamal Monker was invited to speak to the officers about the importance of living a healthy lifestyle. We're trying to show them the type of food to eat, uh, how to maintain a healthy lifestyle, and how to live a life uh, absent of medications and stress and all of the things. We see recently a couple of officers just lose their life. A young officer had a blood clot and died and... You know, I'm told that there are many more that has just, um, you know, died for no reason and, you know, taking medication all their life. Most all the officers in the Bahamas are in medication or know someone that that's on medication. So we try to help them. Sabrina Brown, Saturday Network News.